Today on Titan Sports Recap, it's a tough battle for breaking and making records. At the start of the soccer season, women's soccer has been hot with a six-game winning streak to begin the season. But this could also change after traveling to Washington State. Men's soccer faces former Cal State Fullerton All-American Eddie Soto and the San Francisco Dons at home. Plus, we have an exclusive interview with women's soccer forward, true senior Rebecca Wilson. All this and much more on the season 10 premiere of Titan Sports Recap. Hello and welcome back to Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of all Cal State Fullerton athletics. We have lots of action coming up this season 10 premiere, everyone watching at home, school, or even work. I'm Jeffrey Barner, alongside my co-host, Kyle Lowe. It's a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to be here, Jeff. Now tell me about your weekend. Well, my weekend was great. I just got disappointed in fantasy football, and I guess I watched football. I know, Eli like Manning, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? But let's move to Cal State Fullerton Sports, and specifically women's soccer. Now, their six-game win streak has been the talk of the town. The Titans entered the season making program history, but their long streak came to an end this past weekend as they faced Washington State on the road. Titans went into their third double overtime match in the last four games. Cal State Fullerton kept the 1-0 lead at halftime, but not for long because in the 81st minute, Washington State's Caitlin Johnson fired one past the defender to even the game at one. And then in the 103rd minute of overtime, it would be Courtney Gultin's golden goal that would end Cal State Fullerton's unbeaten streak while keeping Washington State's winning streak alive as the Cougars defeated the Titans 2-1. At Cal State Fullerton Women's Soccer tweeted, Titans suffered their first loss of the season 2-1 in Pullman. Now that was a difficult loss for the Titans, but what do you think they can do to try to rebound? Well, it's not like they started off the season bad. They just have to keep chugging along. I mean, they're doing great. Just learn from their mistakes and keep pushing forward. That's all I could say, especially with reigning Player of the Year Rebecca Wilson on their side. We'll be looking for them to repeat their Big West title. Men's soccer seems to be improving at every match. The Titans ended the game with a two-game winning streak as they faced Eddie Soto and the Dons for a rematch at Titans Stadium. Well, some good sportsmanship between the University of San Francisco and the Titans as they get ready to face each other on Sunday. Now on to the first half. Fifteen minutes in. Diego Sanchez gets a great pass from Nicolo D'Amato and puts it in the top left corner of the net to put the Titans up 1-0. Well, I'm surprised no one broke their neck in that huddle, but you can see right there they're hydrating from the 90 degree weather. But now to the second half. David Rodriguez Elias, the keeper for the Titans, had five saves in this game. But the real highlight comes on offense, when D'Amato takes a free kick that deflects off of the head of a Don's defender into the back of the net, putting the Titans up 2-0. But that wasn't all, because seven minutes later, guess what happens? Sanchez hogs all the glory, getting his second goal of the game, diving for it. The Titans would seal the deal, winning the game 3-0. to zero. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the first half, we had 10 shots to five. So in the second half, we were a little disappointed. We were going to get more shots, but I think we had a lot of quality shots. And uh, I mean, really, it could have easily been six with the one off the post and the 1v1. And I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good chances that we had. So. I'm not disappointed in the goals or the shots. I mean, I, I just think we need to be, execute better. And then um, in the wide channel, they, they defended pretty well. I mean, there were some, some good opportunities for them to defend. And Switching things over to the court, tickets are now on sale for the men's basketball 2015-2016 season. Make sure to catch all the live action. Courtside seats begin at about $468, which includes a $300 per seat donation to men's basketball and reserve seat season tickets can now be purchased online 24 hours a day for both the men and women's programs. For additional ticket information, contact the Athletic Tickets Office at 657-278-2783 or go to FullertonTitans.com. Cross Country star Jose Penaloza is back, taking fourth place at the annual Mark Covert Classic in Carbon Canyon Regional Park on Saturday morning and the season opening meet for the Titans. As for the women's side, Emily Taylor did not stay behind as she was good for 6 in the 5K time of 18 minutes 39 seconds. Penaloza was the top Titan finisher, crossing the line in the 4th with a time of 25 minutes 18 seconds. Followed by Jeff Little in 15th place and with freshman Sam Pimentel in 23rd, the men finished the second Covert Classic in 2013. And Penaloza's time marked the second best AK time of his Titan career. And to finish it off, for the 4th time in his career, he was the top Titan finisher. Fullerton comes back to action September 19th at the Mustang Challenge in Santa Clarita, California. September 10th was the unveiling of the Titans Men Golf 2015-2016 schedule, and the team cannot be more thrilled to show off their skills. 
Cal State Fullerton competes in 10 tournaments before the Big West Championship and NCAA Regionals. Our very own men's golf coach, Jason Droder, said, We have some very competitive events. We have been able to combine fun with strong competition. In other words, these tournaments are being played at some of the best venues on the West Coast and are also hosting strong fields. Along with California, the Titan men will be traveling to Washington and Arizona twice in the season. Last season, the Titans were able to have six top 10 finishes with a large underclassman roster. In the fall portion of their season, the golf team will compete at the Itani Quality Homes Collegiate and then travel to Maricopa, Arizona for the Cowboy Southern Dunes at Southern Dunes Golf Course. The Bill Cullum Invitational, which is hosted by CSUN in Simi Valley, will include the Titans for the seventh straight year. Their last course will be the tackle, the Stockton Golf and Country Club, for the Visit Stockton Pacific Invitational. New season, new courses. The Titans women's golf team will make their first mark at the Dick McGuire Invitational, hosted by the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque. This 6,192-yard course was used in 1987 at the 2008 Women's NCAA Tourney. Alongside the Titans and UNM, the Dick Invitational will host UC Davis, Denver, Gonzaga, Iowa State, Miami, UNLV, Northwestern, Ohio State, Oregon State, Oregon, Pepperdine, San Diego, Stanford, UTEP, and finally Washington State. Junior Martina Edberg had the highest scoring average, which was 74.44 for the Titans in the second straight season from 2014 to 2015. Let's see if she can set a new Fullerton record for the third straight year in a row. Returner senior Dakota Brown, sophomore Brittany Farrell, and senior Nadine Rivera all recorded some of their best finishes last season and do not plan on stopping. Congrats to our new Titans that won this season, Felicia Madala, Eba Nielsen, Brittany Sock, and Pauline Welker. It's been a rough start for women's volleyball. Just at the start of the season, they have found themselves with a nine-game losing streak. This weekend at the Bulldog Invitational in Fresno, California was no different as they faced Sacramento State to end their weekend. Well, the Titans failed to win against Sac State, 10-1, getting out hit 246-181. to Freshman Kyra Hill led the Titans with seven kills. Mackenzie Olsen dished with a resourceful 24 assists. But remember, our show theme, we're not talking about breaking and making records, even if that means our own personal ones. And sophomore Katie Rue did, did just that as she recorded a season high of 18 digs to lead the team while Paige Reed added 16. But Sac State Sloan loved it with too much as she led the way with 12 kills along with Madeline Cannon who added 10. Thanks to Kennedy Kurtz's 28 assists and Lexi Skullback's 15 digs, the Hornets added yet another win to their record, now sitting at 11-1. The Titans will stay on the road next weekend for their non-conference matches of the year as they head to San Francisco Challenge to take on North Dakota State, San Francisco, and Yale. On the bright side of things, Women's soccer has been unstoppable thanks to their chemistry on and off the field. They were able to snag a couple of victories in a row. Our reporter Jasmine Arena sits with a special guest for a Get to Know Your Titan one-on-one -on -one edition. It's the beginning of the season and Rebecca Wilson has already had an exceptional amount of success on the field. Behind me lies the field where she's broken records and even made history. But has it always been this way? I got the chance to sit down with Rebecca Wilson for a special Get to Know Your Titan. As many, continue to break as many records as I can and just be, just leave kind of like a legacy for, you know, the underclassmen, the freshmen, the, the kids coming up to want to be a leader. ...into the season and for six of those wins, you just seven games into the season and for six of those wins, you can thank Wilson for it. I think it's definitely just uh, my mental toughness, um, just being able to like push through, especially on Sunday games when it's really hot, just being able to be sharp in those final moments, like the last 10 minutes of the game when we really needed that goal. So definitely mental toughness and uh, just having a strong team behind me. We are tied for six in program history. Did I mention her goals for 10th in program history? She also has scored five game winning goals in her career, tying for six in program history. Did I mention she's probably leaving a legacy already? I'm here to perform. I'm here, you know, coach, coach gives me, you know, the money to go to school and all that. And I like, that's to me like my pay. So my job is to score goals, entertain the fans, connect Wilson with the Wilson in to score off the left post. But it wasn't always like this for Wilson. 
2013-2014 season, 2014 season, that caused her to miss most. That caused her to miss most of the season. I mean, I've had a couple of injuries before. Uh, had ankle surgery my freshman year of high school and tore my ACL my senior year of high school. So coming in, I had to work my butt off. Um, it was just another like milestone, just kind of a, another roadblock that I just had to overcome. And uh, I mean, it really sucked because we really struggled that year. For an extended version, please go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Titan Sports Recap. Find the feature under the Get to Know Your Titans section and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Jasmine Arenas. And for your Titan timeline highlights and biggest games for the next couple of weeks, men's soccer host San Diego Friday, September 18th at 7 p.m. on Sunday, September 20th. The Titans take on the field against the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. The team goes on a little road trip to Utah Valley on Thursday, September 24th, and come back home to face Grand Canyon on Sunday, September 27th, 6 p.m. The women's soccer team hopes to switch gears and get a winning streak against Loyola Marymount on Friday, September 25th at 7 p.m. and San Diego on Sunday, the 27th at 5 p.m. With long road trip, the Titan volleyball can't find their first win, though. The team looks to play in the San Francisco Challenge from September 18th to the 19th to find it. They travel back down the coast to face UC Riverside on the 25th and close out their road trip at UC Irvine on Wednesday, September 30th. For game dates and times throughout winter break, please go to FullertonTitans.com. And remember, all of your so our social media outlets. You can catch our entire video highlight library on our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube.com slash TitansSportsRecap. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at CSUF Sports Recap. Find us on Facebook for updates on all Fullerton athletics and catch us out on Instagram for behind the scenes photos. Follow us at Titan Sports Recap. Well, that's gonna do it for the season 10 premiere of TSR. Thanks for joining us, I'm Jeffrey Barner. And I'm Kyle Lowe. See, See you in two, two weeks. weeks.